So, the message I'm going to be talking about tonight is called the greatest commandment. Who knows what the greatest commandment is? Good enough. Okay. Love your neighbor. Love your neighbor, okay? What was that? That's good. Love the Lord your God with all your mind, heart, mind, and soul. That's good. So, alright, thank you. That's actually the verse we have for today. So, the verse of the, the book we're going to be in today is Matthew chapter 22, verses 34 to 38. And I'll just read it for you guys. Hearing that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, the Pharisees got together. One of them, an expert in law, tested, with, tested him, which is Jesus, with this question, Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. Alright, let's just say that one line together so we just get used to what, what it says. So just repeat after me. Love the Lord. Love the Lord. Oh, love the Lord your God. Lord your God. With all your heart. With all your heart. And with all your soul. With all your soul. And with all your mind. All right, one more time. Love the Lord your God. Love the Lord your God. With all your heart. With all your heart. With all your soul. With all your soul. And with all your mind. So what's the first one? With all your. This is a quiz. What's the first one? With all your. Heart. 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 That's good. With all your heart. And the second one. With all your. It's inside of you. Inside of you. With all your soul. soul. And the last one, with all your mind. mind. Very good. You guys are on top today. Mm -hmm. Alright, um, so we're, what I'm going to do today for you guys is we're going to actually look into what each one means. So we're going to see what it means to love God with all your heart, what it means to love God with all your mind, with all your soul. So the first point, the first part we're going to go over is loving the Lord with all your Heart, very good. So, who knows how a heart works? I know you guys took science um, when you guys were in school. Who, who knows how a heart works? It goes love dub, love dub. You guys remember that in high, in high school or middle school? <laughs> so, the way a heart works, so when you breathe in, what are you breathing in? Yeah, air. Oxygen. Air. Oh, oxygen, very good. And when you when you breathe in, where does the air go in first? It goes in your lungs. lungs. See, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. So when it goes into your lungs, your lungs pick up the oxygen, which is in the air. And where does the oxygen oxygen go after that? It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's he? You guys know who he is? 
is Jesus, right? It's God. So because he loved us first, we're able to love others. So you guys look to your neighbor and to your right, and you tell them, I love you. So turn to your neighbor, tell them, I love you, 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 Okay, so you see what we just did there? We say, like, we have to love each other because who loved us first? Jesus. Jesus. All right, we love because who loved us first? God. Jesus. Yeah, God loved us first. Mm-hmm. Also, in order to show God that we love Him with all our heart, is to show compassion. Who knows what compassion means? Anyway, to care for someone, that's good. Huh? Yeah, like compassion, like loving someone a lot. Like, um, if you guys have siblings, if if your brother or sister was sick, you have compassion, like, oh man, you're yeah. sick, I don't want you to be sick, I want to help you. You guys, you guys see where I'm going with this? So in order for us to show God that we love him with all our heart, we must love others around us. So you guys um, all live with each other. Like, um, I see my cousins from time to time. And, like, for example, my cousin John, you guys know John, you guys saw him limping all the way here. It's because his, his calves hurt from working out. And I have compassion towards him <laughs> because I don't want to see my cousin hurt, right? Just like you guys don't want to see your friends hurt, you guys don't want to see your family hurt, you guys have compassion for them. You guys get that compassion? So we must, in order to show God that we love him, love him with all our heart, we show up by loving others and by having compassion. You guys get that? Alright. So we're going to move on to the next part. So it says, love the Lord your God with all your heart. And what's the next one? With all your soul. Very yeah. good. So, so we already covered heart. Now we're going to move on to our soul. So what is our soul? You guys know what your soul is? Yeah, part of the outer life. Yeah. So when, when we when we pass away, our body stays here and our soul goes up to heaven. You guys get that? So in order to love God with our soul this time, we have to bear fruit. You guys know what it means to bear fruit in like terms of Bible? It's not it's not fruit like apple or pear. Huh? That's a different type of, that's being fruitful, but this, this is um, bearing fruit, like when you read your Bible, or when you trust in the Lord, Lord with all your soul, you get this fruit. And it says in Galatians 5, chapter 5, verse 22, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So, that's what the the fruits of the Spirit are. So when we accept Jesus Christ into our heart, and because of that, our lives become changed. And before I used, like for example, before I used to talk back to my parents, but now since I accepted Jesus Christ in my in my in my soul in my life, now I respect my parents. You guys follow that? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about my cousin John Esteban for a second. <laughs> so, if you guys haven't met my cousin throughout the years, but when I was younger, he used to, this was his testimony also, that when, before he came to Christ, he was really shy. <laughs> Have you guys ever been shy before? Yeah. Like, someone asks you to talk in front, like, for me, I'm shy, but me being here today is a sign of the truth. But for the same way, my cousin John, he was very shy and timid. Like, he would just keep to himself, he'd be quiet. But because he accepted Jesus Christ into his life, he's able to show his fruits, which is not being shy anymore, he's mm-hmm. being bold. Uh, for him to go out, do you guys know downtown San Jose? Have you guys been to downtown San Jose? Yeah, and you guys know how there's a lot of people well, my cousin John was able to go down to downtown San Jose and spread the gospel. And that takes a lot. Like, I'm, I'm even scared to do that mm. myself. Like, right now, I'm pretty shy. <laughs> I'm not scared, but I'm shy. 
Oh yeah, that's what being fruitful is like when you're able to take your past and when you accept Jesus Christ into your heart, you're able to show these new fruits. You're able to show joy through like me speaking at like what the reason why I speak is because I find joy in like talking to you guys. Like I love you guys as like one of my own, like one of my family. <laughs> so so I'm able to show joy, I'm able to show goodness, kindness. Because I'm not being mean or anything. I'm sorry if I'm mean to you guys. But I'm able mm-hmm. to show kindness. I'm glad huh? I'm glad I'm glad. Oh no, you, everyone. <laughs> but yeah, that's how we were able to show God that we love Him with all our soul by, by showing our fruits and by accepting Him into our life. And <clears throat> oh, I'll get back to that later. But we're going to move on to the next point, which is so we went over love the Lord. Your God with all your, what was the first one? Heart. Heart, very good. And the next one was with all your mind. No, oh, that's later. Soul. Soul. Mm-hmm. Anyone else I other than Ernie? You're on, you're on point, Ernie. But what was the second one? With all your soul. Soul, very mm-hmm. good. So the next one is with all your mind. So what this means is who here, um, who here, like when you pray, you feel like you're talking to yourself? Who thinks that? Like, when you're, praying, you're praying, God, please help me throughout the day. Um, be with me wherever I go. Like, who feels like when you're praying, you're just talking to yourself sometimes? Do you guys feel that way sometimes when you pray? Well, <laughs> we really need to go back. Okay, yeah, that, yeah, that too, like... Sometimes you don't feel God is listening when you pray, something like that. Well, by loving God with all your mind, you should be able to change your mindset. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, you, you remember Jeff, right, Ernie? Jeff, yeah. the big buff guy. You guys remember Jeff? Well, just recently, he went on a diet. And, well, I'm not, I'm not saying he's big or anything. But he, you can definitely see results. Like, who here used to work out, go to the gym? I know you fellas, my, my cousin, go to the gym. <laughs> but, <laughs> but what happened was, Jeff loves to eat. Who here loves to eat? I love to eat. You guys love to eat? Love, love. I love sushi. I love McDonald's. I love all that stuff. Even though it's bad for me, I love it. But for <laughs> Jeff, Jeff loved everything, like, if you guys would talk to, if you guys talk to him every day, he would be talking about, oh, I, I want here to go out to eat, I want here to eat, I want here to eat. But all of a sudden, it all changed for him. When, when he wanted to start dieting and working out and all that stuff, he changed his whole mindset to the point where he even stopped eating for like a week. Yeah. He stopped eating. He was just drinking lemonade. Yeah. That's crazy, right? Who, who here would? Stop eating your favorite lunch, favorite dinner, and just give it all up and just drink juice. Jeff, exactly. <laughs> and Jeff is crazy enough to do it. And because of this, his whole mindset changed. And if you guys see him now, he's he's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like he lost, I think he's at 40, he lost 40 pounds already in the past three weeks. That's crazy. So that's all the changing your mindset. So in the same way, in order to love God with all our mind, we need a whole mindset change. Well, by that, I mean by reading your Bible more and by praying more. Because I know for a fact that before I, before I really took like, loving God seriously, I used to, I never used to read. But ever since like, my whole mindset changed, I was able to change my lifestyle and I was able to read more. I was able to pray more, and I, I, and I even felt God more. So, to love the Lord with all your mind means to change your whole mindset to the point where your lifestyle is changed. So you can be spiritually buffed. You guys get that? Just like Jeff, he's physically buffed because he changed his mindset. Yeah. We have to change our spiritual mindset so that we also can be spiritually buffed. So, yeah. And let's just review real quick. Love the Lord your God with all your everyone, all, everyone. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Heart. Alright. The next, love the Lord your God with all your soul. 